Hello and welcome to Eat and Talk Africa. Food goes beyond its nutritional value. It is a mean to gather, to share and bond. Together, we are going to rediscover African and its fusion with other cuisines, while having meaningful discussions that are helpful to our community. We are going to cook, we are going to have conversations, and we are going to learn together. My name is Jamil Val. Now, please step into my kitchen. Hi guys, and welcome to Eat and Talk Africa. My name is Chef Jamil Ba. Have you ever wondered what's the difference between yam and yuca? In this video, I'm going to tell you what they have in common and what the differences are. And you want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you something about yuca that you don't want to miss. So, basically, uh, both are roots. And uh, they are called tuber vegetable or root vegetable, right? Uh, first thing first, let's talk about how they look like. Look at the yam. Yam has a brownish color, as you can see right here. And then also, yuca also has a brownish color, but it's a little more pink in it. And you will see more about it uh, as I'm, I am, uh, if you were to peel this. One of my videos actually goes in depth into how to cook these things, and then I'm showing you how to peel it and uh, how to uh, cook it. So look at, look at that video and you'll be able to learn more about how the inside color look like. But for today, we're just gonna talk about uh, uh, the outside and basically what they have in common and then what they have uh, uh, that separates them. So, um, beside the outside, the color, and everything you see right here, as I was telling you also, they both are roots. And they grow in a warm area or tropical area. So, you will see a lot of this uh, two root vegetable in Africa in uh, South America and sometimes in India, I believe you'll see some of the yam in India uh, 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 as well. And uh, uh, it's a staple food, a staple items that, that uh, we consume in, uh, in, in particularly in West Africa and also uh, in Central Africa and also you see some in South, uh, South Africa as well, that, that part of it, Africa. Um, they're commonly used in lieu of corn and in lieu of uh, rice because the carbohydrate items and uh, so it's like another uh, source of carb that you know uh, uh, we have an option for so if you're talking about West African food you can know uh, you have to know about yam you have to know about uh, yucca as well so uh, these two uh, besides uh, being uh, two tuber roots um, you also uh, can eat them as I was telling you uh, almost the same way uh, you can boil yam and eat it or pound it as a fufu what we call it in west africa and you can also pound or boil this yucca also and eat it as a, a, a fufu also as i was calling it i believe africa probably also the caribbean it might be the only place where we eat this as a pound and yam you know as far as our pound and yucca we call the fufu commonly as you will know uh anywhere on the west coast of africa nigeria ghana benin togo ivory coast you know so it's a it's it's a one of our favorite dish to make and we eat it with a lot of soup or a lot of stew so uh in the other video that i have on my channel you can actually learn more about how to cook fufu with uh, yam or how to cook fufu with uh, yuca now you've learned so far how these two these two look like how they grow where they grow and how we consume them and what they have in common. Those are mainly the, the things that they have in common, you know, um, staple items, you know, growing warm area, uh, tuber vegetable because they grow underground and then the leaves, uh, the stems and everything, uh, the vein are above the ground and these two are underground. So, and uh, as far as how we eat it, right? So now let's talk about what they don't have so much in common, you know, um, yam, yeah, has a little more functionality shall I say you know you know basically how you can eat is a little different than how you can eat yucca this one is maybe the favorite because of the fact that you can boil it you can fry it which is coliko again in one of my video on my channel you can see how to make coliko coliko is a staple food also very much something that people like a lot in West Africa and then you can also broil this you can grill this as well and then you can bake it you know basically you know with yam you have a lot more things you can do with you know, uh, when it comes to yucca, not so much. You know, I don't know if it's because uh, 
uh, we don't want to or is it because of uh, 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 what the particularity of the thing that I tell you I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video it's about so stick around you can you, and I can, I can tell you that maybe that that might be the reason why people don't use all of this because there's two variety of, of, of uh, uh, the yucca there's a bitter version it's a sweeter version right so one thing I can tell you about the bitter version is that people tend to uh, cultivate that more because uh, uh, because of the fact that it's bitter, so uh, rotten uh, insects don't tend to just you know uh, uh, you know eat this or destroy this. You know, basically, if you to, if you anybody who has a crop understand that you have to worry about insect rotten and then all that destroying your crop. So if it's bitter, they tend to kind of like you know um, cultivate that more and they tend to have to harvest more of it. So uh, they, they they don't go that bad. Um, and also uh, with uh, the yam, uh, with the with the root, with the yucca root, actually there's a more derivative item that we can get out of it. And one of the derivative item is tapioca, tapioca starch. Tapioca is uh, uh, mainly something that everybody kind of consume also uh, in uh, uh, Africa, in uh, Asia. Actually, they make a common drink, cold drink in Asia with tapioca. So that's one of the derivative of the uh, yucca root. And uh, also, we get one of the we call Gari in uh, West Africa. I believe they call Farinha in uh, Brazil, if my Portuguese is right. So it's called Farinha. So you basically kind of like grate this and then uh, dry it, and then it become like a coarse flour called Gari. It's used as a, a to make meal uh, a lot of time in, in Africa. Um, and in Brazil, they actually instead of just drying the um, flour, they actually roast it to get that Farinha. Um, that's what it calls. So you will see me uh, do a lot of similarity or mention a lot of similarity between uh, Latin and Caribbean food and African food. It's because they're common. And then again, on my channel, Eat and Talk Africa, there's another video they're telling you about what uh, are the similarity between African food and then Latin and Caribbean food, right? You got to just check that out and to learn more about it. Um, one of the things that I was saying that hey, I wanted to mention before you know we ended the video about yucca is that you gotta be careful how you eat yucca root. I'm not saying it's dangerous, right? You gotta be careful, be careful how you cook it because it has toxin in it. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why maybe people don't eat a lot of it, you know. Uh, and then I think that will explain why we tend to eat more yam. Uh, but don't get me wrong, yucca is really good. You just have to be careful. Don't eat it raw at all. Don't eat this raw. You have to peel it, clean it properly. Take the vein out uh, and then uh, um, boil it and then uh, pound it as you can do. But I'm not saying that you cannot bake this. You can totally bake it if you want to. I'm not saying you cannot. You can, you can totally broil this if you want to. Uh, you can totally do that. It doesn't mean you can totally fry this as well. But people tend to fry more sweet potato. Or if you have the sweeter version of the yucca root, then you can tend to kind of fry it and then eat it that way. But I've seen it mainly uh, consumed, boiled, or pound it into like we do in West Africa so so far in this video as I was telling you now you know a bit more about these two tuber uh, vegetable or root vegetable that uh, we consume a lot you know you can talk about African food without talking about these two yeah and yucca so in this video I wanted to show you what they have in similar and then what they have as different you know and as I say check out my other video that's going to give you more information about uh, the derivative product that we can get from uh, yucca that is tapioca and uh, gary and how we can consume that as well and then i also have another video on my channel telling you more about how to cook those two to make colico to make fufu out of it or just grill it and have it with the uh, plantain and peanut that's another subject that we can cover in my video once again this was eat and talk africa with chef jamilba Follow us to learn more about how to cook African food. Thank you for your support. Subscribe.